Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about roles and worth and service, all the all the important things. Um, and I can only speak to my experience. And my experience was growing up in a religious cult, and they had Christian values with a side of crazy. Um, but the thing that religion does is that it teaches it can teach really really strong gender roles of a man does this a woman does that and if a woman ever tries to drive a car she's out of line that's a maddening activity and if a man ever takes care of his child he's degrading himself because taking care of children is a womanly activity and i think that when you grow up in something like that that is so strong because that's super that's a super aggressive and unnecessary mindset to have but some religions have that but I think that when it's ingrained for so long that even after you leave something like that, that stays, even if, if it's no longer conscious, it can be subconscious. And those are things that you can keep and it kind of bleeds out in certain ways. Um, but what I think what it ends up doing is lessening your ability to take part in the human experience. Like if you're a man and you think, oh, I should never take care of my children, that's the woman jobs, or I'm never gonna learn how to cook, that's that's a lady's thing. And then as a woman, it's like, oh, I'm never gonna ask questions about the finances, or I'm never going to, you know, learn how to drive. You end up losing your freedom, you and then you end up um, you know, finding out that your husband has like been <laughs> doing money laundering for 12 years and you have no idea and you have no money. And then on the man's side, it's like, uh, you know, something happens and all of a sudden you don't know how to provide for your children. You don't know what they like or you don't know how to cook for them or whatever it is. These are just things that, uh, mindsets that can be really, really damaging and just lessen your ability to partake in the human experience, which the human experience, it's such a beautiful thing and it's so vast. And I think the more you can involve yourself in it, the better. But these gender roles can be actually super damaging. And I want to ask you about worth. Um, I'm going to give you like a little task, but I'm going to ask you about your worth, where you think it comes from, and how much of it is tied to a service that you were taught you should provide as your gender. So if you're a man, maybe you were taught that your worth comes from being able to provide financially or being able to lead your wife spiritually or being able to whatever it is and then as a woman it's usually always a service role it's like how good do you clean like how good do you cook and how silent are you i don't know the man roles very well because i'm not a man but i think there are usually these stereotypes that are really really driven by religion oh i rhymed um and they can be really damaging. So if you like paused this video and asked yourself, where does your worth come from? And then as you write it out, just notice how many things you've written out that are actually a service and how much of it is actually you, like how much of you is actually involved in your life. Um, and for me, as I decided to not be a maid anymore, because I, I grew up with like, oh my gosh, so many brothers and sisters. So I was a caretaker since I, since I can remember. Like I was taking care of my little brothers and sisters and other kids in the commune since I was like five years old. So, um, and then as I got into the real world, then I was a nanny. Um, and then I was like a personal assistant for a while. So it was all caretaking. It was all service. Cause that's what I was taught how to be a good woman was just to be quiet and be a servant and don't ask questions. So I did that until I realized like I had no value like internally and i don't mean that other people viewed me that way i i viewed myself that way i was like what can i provide like every time i show up to a place i feel like oh if i don't do the dishes they're not going to invite me back or if i don't bring a really delicious like dish to the to the barbecue they don't want me here and i thought if i can't provide a service i'm not welcome and that was just a really like that was a hurtful thing um, for me to think about myself because then if it was a last minute invite and they were like, hey, come over, just bring yourself. I wouldn't think that me myself was good enough. So I wouldn't do it. I'd be like, no, I, I don't, I can't bring anything. And they'd be like, whatever, just bring yourself. And it didn't compute. I was like, what do you mean bring myself? Like I have no value. Why would I bring myself? So then I would do the thing of like, well, 
you know, I can take pictures of you guys, or I can bring a really expensive bottle of wine, or I can, and it was all this, like, let me prove to you that I'm worthy, because I know how to provide service, or I can bring something that's not me. Um, when really, you, you want to be surrounded by people who love you for you, and who you are elevates their experience, and that's why they want you around. What you don't want is to be around people who do only want you around for service because there are those people there are a lot um, but you you don't want it so it is really beneficial to to untie your worth from service because then you naturally the people who are only keeping you around for service they're gonna get super annoyed with you they're gonna be like well you stopped bringing this or you stopped doing that or you used to be cool because you used to do this and those people will naturally fall away which is good it's what you want and the people who like you for you will, you know, be the ones that end up sticking around more. And those are the people who end up like healing your heart. Those are the people who you realize like, wait a second, they keep on like wanting me over and I don't do anything. I just kind of exist in space with them and somehow that's enough. Um, and I think that once you are able to detach your worth from service, then you realize that your actual worth is like the lens through which you view the world and how much access you give yourself permission to have to, like for the human experience. So your ability to develop your brain, your ability to be curious, all of that is, is what's useful. And the way through which you view the world is the thing that's unique. And that is the thing that if you can cultivate that, that's super interesting to have around. For me, I like to um, have people around me who have all different lenses and different ways they view the world because I think that's really interesting. And I like to have people who have an opinion around me uh, because I want to see the world through their eyes. And that is what I think is useful. I don't have a friend who I think is useful because they, they have a truck. Um, I will rent a truck if I need one. But I think it's important to... Take some time to sit with yourself, ask yourself, where does my worth come from? And just write out a bunch of stuff and then see how much of it is tied to service. And then you want to start undoing that. You want to start realizing that you have value as a human being as is. Service aside, there should be a way for you to live life that if you never provide, if you never ironed another shirt, you never cooked another meal, or you never paid rent for so-and-so again, you should still have intrinsic value that you believe in and that allows you to like hold your head up and show up into any room that you walk into and, and think, I deserve to be here. I add value. You deserve that in your life. And that when you can, the more rooms you can go into with your head up, the more access you have to the world and like life is meant to be lived. So tracking all the way back to the gender norms, whatever it was that you were taught might still linger there even though you are no longer part of the church or even though you are no longer ascribed to the religion. That stuff can be so ingrained, especially if you grew up in it. It starts young and that shit stays. So give yourself permission to change, give yourself permission to think differently, and give yourself permission to detach your worth from service because you have value regardless of the service you choose to or not to provide. So that's my little spiel is think about where does your worth come from, um, notice how much is tied to service and then give yourself permission to detach that. Um, that's my spiel for you today.